Yo, what up? We are here. We are here trading, looking for some proven transaction. <clears throat> I'm a little parched right now. Let me get something to drink. Okay, I'm back in front of the computer. All right, we're doing some analysis right now. Um, um, as I look here, the time is 8.50, Chicago time, 9.50 EST. I'm speaking a little loud, you know, just because I'm, you know, with the computer and I don't have a mic up to my face. So I just want to make sure that my voice is articulating and coming through with enough volume stuff like that okay so 850 Chicago time 950 EST um, I don't know what time it is in London right now I want to say what is it plus 5 plus 6 GMT but anyway we're doing a scan analysis we are waiting to figure out what looks good for a trade so we can make some some uh, proven transactions here we got 15 minute chart to Dow Jones is touching a moving average um, so let's see here we might be able to find a reversal signal but you don't want to call anything right now because we got some news coming out and and you know oh, okay this looks good this looks like a downtrend or possibly a reversal because stochastics haven't hit all the way below the red line so i can take the trend down for a few more minutes and profit but i don't know what's going on here at nine o'clock 850 so 850 came out you know with some bloomberg some confidence really wasn't none but at nine o'clock we got factory orders which is one bull which is slight volatility could change the direction of the market for a few minutes it could it could not as you can see price is pushing back up off of the moving average that we have here um so let's continue to scan we're going to go we have a bunch of assets here on this index but we will not scan all of them right now because of the video here there will be no time for me to scan all of them here okay we have apple here on a 15 minute chart and a five minute chart is this a possible reversal you see the stochastics came down and landed refuel took off uh and you got bearish or sorry bullish signals here t lines pushing touching the 20 to 20 and 200 far away up here where the hell is the 50? Oh, no, this is the 50 right here. Okay. And this is the 200. Okay. And these are some other things. Uh, okay. Let's see. This is possibly a bullish signal, but it's not engulfing this bar, man. It's not. And it looks like an up-down uh, formation than I usually uh, track, but it, I, I just don't. The price is, I don't know, man. It, okay, well, I guess that just showed me what the hell it's doing. Well, good job, Apple. Maybe you could have got in earlier, but all right, whatever. All right, so let's go look at Amazon. That's another big one that people like to mess with. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't see none of this. Here we go. Okay, let's go down to Citigroup. Citigroup looks like we might be having some possible reversals. 200 is coming in it just price just whoo, went up touched it you see in the past it's writing it as a resistance but this is the third test uh um, just in the price this looks like a third test it possibly could go back up you see you got these moving average uh closer moving averages pushing on the price here and this average has just caught it the 200 and another uh, pr uh prominent average that i use Okay, here, now let's look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ, hmm, okay. We will be possibly looking for the NASDAQ to continue to fall, possibly. Or the NASDAQ might reverse. But you see the band is pushing, but this one is not opening up. So if that one opens up, so you want to go break this down to a micro level, kind of see what type of trend might be forming. Okay, so we got two minute chart here. And we've got multiple tests here. This average is pushing up, and this one is curving down, but these are straight. So, being that this bottom band is open, it might be a problem. I don't know. So, we will come back and watch the NASDAQ for a fall. Big Papa Dow Jones. 
did the reversal okay maybe maybe not no yeah he did a little reversal a little bit of some price reversal off the average um as you can see it's right here on the five minute chart here yeah all right so all right so let's look at facebook all of you are probably on facebook you're gonna end up watching this not all of you but that's how some of you will be introduced to this video is through facebook okay here we go uh, facebook is touching this average here see it's, it looks like a good call if there was no news and looking at this i would wait for this to touch though i would wait for this to land i i like for stochastics all to agree with me and when one is in discord i i say there's no meeting there's no possibility so let's look at google now uh, uh in the middle of the band i stay away from the middle you know yeah, middle no middle all right mcdonald's here uh uh yeah mcdonald's okay mcdonald's 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 i am looking for a price correction on mcdonald's i think their stock is highly inflated yeah and i think that it is finally coming through the price correction because look how far this thing is away from the 50 and the 200 i mean gee this thing it left this thing back in october the 200 and said bye and i will never see you again and i mean i don't know i mean look in the past i mean come on i mean <laughs> i mean all right <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. But anyway, I'll be looking for probably quarterly puts at the beginning of the year on McDonald's. As long as price stays above $110 by January 1st, I was saving $111. I'm going to put a bar here in a note and say, uh, let's see here. What is this note? Here? Where is the note? Where is the note? What time is it? We got four minutes until the 9 o'clock news. Okay, all right. Note here: if price, if price, well, it's pretty, it doesn't matter. I don't care about the capitalization. I just need to get the message. If price is above, okay, one eleven dot seventy six. Look. For a quarterly put, uh, all right, all right. Can I, did I come out right? I can't see this. Let me move this box over. Uh, 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 we'll come back in. Uh, but anyway, that's all right. We'll come back in and fix and correct and do proofread. All right, now. We would do it for the end of the year, but you know, it's Christmas and you know, they got one more, but that's going to come out in January. So, all right, well, let me see. How many times have I been to McDonald's? I have been, I've been to McDonald's more often than the last couple of days. Um, I don't know, the price is overinflated. Like I said, that's just something to look for, man. I know price is inflated. It's going to come back down to this 50 sooner or later. It has to. Price always does. People who've been holding McDonald's for a long time, they know that price is inflated. Everyone keeps saying it. You, the price is not going to go up any higher. There's not going to be, unless they come out with a DNA sandwiches that make you turn back to a 21-year-old. No way. Uh -uh. Price is not going to stay that high. I don't know. All right. My Internet Explorer is messing up. Okay. So let us close the program. We have another chart up, so we will have something for you momentarily. Bang. Voila. Now, this is uh, some GPB USD, but let us go back over to what we were looking at. McDonald's over here. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We have time, man. There's no reason to sit here like we have to go look at some next shit to make a trade. It's okay. We can just relax and get some information. Netflix! Ah! Ha 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 ha! Ah! Yeah. Go to a daily chart. Okay! We see some situation here! What is this? It is a hanging man, maybe! 
Okay, I don't know. We see, man. You see, price has been going up here for some time. So the last time you had, uh, what was this? It was 28th, November, and then October, and then the 6th of November. So that was, uh, maybe like almost, uh, we eight days. So this has been writing for a long time. Let's go to an hourly chart. Maybe Netflix is going to keep going up for the rest of his life. No, maybe not. Uh, nope, sarcastic, so not agreeing with me on this time frame. And uh, Netflix on the four hour chart is coming to agreements. So let's let it go up for maybe one more week, two more days. Check it out next week and come back. Uh, Nike. Nike. Yo, better signal on Nike. Okay, let's go here to some 30 minute chart. Oh shit, yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh shit, yeah, this bitch is gonna keep falling. Okay, so this is a good situation here, right here. This is perfect. If you are looking for some signal here, this is coming to tell you. Yeah, look at that shit. Oh wow. Yes, yes, this is 15 minutes, right, right? Okay. Look at this shit now. Now, in a situation like this, you want price to push back up a little bit more. Okay, you got it far away from the, from the Bollinger Band and the t-line on both charts all right this looks like a good reversal signal should i call it in the group should i call it in the group um i'm gonna wait a minute we have to wait for this candle to close let's look on the two minute chart see what we have here we have a possible reversal but since the trend is not it does not have the steepness that i like I will, okay, yeah, it does. Let's go to 10 minute chart. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Price is still falling. So we have to look at the stochastics to come up with a solution. It's been writing for some time. One minute chart. What do we have here? If it's still at the bottom, okay. Price is in there, but the average is pushing down. So we want confirmation, right? So this is what we want, confirmation. It is 10 o'clock now. Usually at the hour, we will have a reversal signal on some situations. But right now, we don't know because they're waiting for the 9 o'clock news. All right, so we can relax here. Control the solar plexus. Okay. What is the 9 o'clock news? It is negative. So we will stay away from this. Why? Because the market could just collapse in five seconds just like it's doing now, right? See, you will say, ah, reversal signal, regardless of what the news is saying because of this. But the news will kill you. See what I'm saying? This shit is going to fall. Fuck Nike. Okay. The price line, all of this shit is probably going to fall until this bitch comes around. What time is she talking shit today? Nine o'clock. She's talking now. So we will chill out and wait at least 15 minutes. You know she is going to push the stock market up. You know she is. But it is not going to happen right now. All right. Turn on my European accent. I'm getting excited. All right. Uh, so let's go to the currencies and see just some indication. We have the Euro USD pushing up. Okay. Stochastics are like this. Let's get to a different time frame. Let's go to one hour time frame. And let's go to 30 minute time frame. No, let's do one hour and one minute. Okay, what do we have there? Mm -hmm. Better signal. Bullish signal. Bearish signal. Bullish signal or bearish? Who knows? All right. I'm going to close this one up. All right. It looks bearish to me. Yeah. All right. This looks like a good 60-second transaction. Looks like a perfect 60-second transaction. Uh, but I'm not going to get into it yet because you see the price. So let's go over here to two minute chart. See what type of situation. Oh yeah, this is it. Yeah. Yeah, you just some shit I would have taken if I wasn't making this video. Alright, but anyway, it's okay. I can make the video and I can do this. I can still get in price here, but like I said, man, we don't know what's going on. So why would you even risk it because we knew? Alright, let's just watch. Let's just do some currency watching. Ah, oh, GBPAUD is rising. Oh yeah, this shit. See? Let's see what the euro end up doing. 
Yeah, so fuck that.